Hey everyone, today we will be going over hash sets today and different variations of such and without any further hesitation, let's get started. And now let's head over and focus on building our hash table from set. So first thing we need to do as usual is that we need to include our library. So after we include the basic Iris stream, um, also depending on whatever text editor you're using, uh, I'm also going to include or IDE. I'm also going to put in include on put in a set in this case there we go and then we're also going to include a vector and using namespace std and we have the main function right over here we're going to call upon the necessary library so first things first is we're going to have a set of strings uh, and I'm going to call this a word set and a word set so what we'll do, we'll insert, retrieve, move, and then we're gonna display. So first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna have word set dot insert. And since we have strings, we're gonna call this apple. Banana orange. We don't need that. If we have a duplicate entry, it will be ignored. And so what we will be doing is that we're going to retrieve a specific one, a specific word in our set. So word set dot find banana, if it's located, then we're going to have an edge case where if it is not in the word set at its very end, we're going to say following so actually sorry to clarify we're saying that if it is in the word set this is just a weird symbol just saying the word dot word set dot end is stating that there is nothing in general we're saying that we have retrieved so therefore it's saying if it does not equal to the fact that there is no banana, meaning that there is, we're gonna retrieve where banana is located. We're gonna end that. Otherwise, we can say count banana is not in set. Actually, it would be easier if I just did this, so. Let's move this. There we go. Now we're going to remove. So if we do word set dot erase. I'm going to find the specific one, banana. I'm going to say banana has been removed from set. <sighs> do, 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 do. Then we're gonna display by using a vector. String, words, word set, dot begin, word set, dot end. And we're gonna print by count words in the set, which is sorted. for int i is equal to zero. And then we're gonna have i equal, uh, sorry, less than words.size. We're gonna increment as well throughout our whole set and we're gonna output the words of i for our set. Notice the difference from what we did earlier in our maps compared to the set. And then we're gonna count end l. And since we have an integer in this case, we will return zero. Now just double check, make sure it's all built. Okay, I misspelled a couple things. There we go. Let's see if this actually works. 
Yep, it does the same thing right over here. This part makes sense. It retrieved banana. Banana has been removed from the set. And uh, words, and I'm going to check my spelling over here. There we go. Ta-da, that's better. Okay, and so this was, uh, yeah, so this is how we build a hash table from a set directly, in particular. We've done the necessary actions of insert, retrieve, remove, display, and we have done so in our terminal as well. Now let's create our hash table from an unordered set. So the first thing we do as usual is include our library. So after include Iowa stream or whatever uh, IDE we are using, we're going to do include unordered sets. Then we will be including our vector. And then using namespace STD, and then we'll have int main here to start. Then first thing we're gonna do is that I'm gonna have unordered set of integers in this case, and we're gonna have a number set. Then we'll go to function, insert, retrieve, Uh, remove and then uh, display so insert number set done. insert 10 20 30, 40 make this 20 30 and 40 the retrieve we will have the following we're gonna go auto it is equal to uh, number set dot find uh, 20 in particular, and we are going to have a for loop for, or sorry, our uh, boolean statement for if it uh, equals number set dot end, where we've already scanned it, and then we also we're trying to find it, and we're going to say Found, sorry, and L, and then in this case we would say that number 20 has been found, and L. And for us to be able to remove, we're going to go number set dot erase 20, and we're going to say 20 has been removed. Display. We're gonna have a vector int numbers number set dot begin number set dot end and we're going to output numbers in unordered set. For loop for int i is equal to zero, i is less than numbers dot size uh, plus plus i. Then we will output count numbers of i for each index, and we will have a space accordingly for each one. Going down, mm -hmm. count and l. Finally, return zero because we have an integer in this case, and zero is our base case. Yep, insert, retrieve, remove. Let's make sure it's all built. Good job. And now we will print. Number 20 has been found. As we've already said, it's already inserted. Um, we already have this Boolean condition to be able to check for our, our uh, edge case. And then we also remove. 20 has been removed. And look at this. Numbers in unordered set. 40, 30, 10. And program is ended with exit code 0. And everything is already checked out for our unordered set. Hooray! Now the next part, let's focus on an unordered multi-set. There we go, let me just, okay, that should be good. And now let's focus on an unordered multi-set. So for us to be able to get started, what we'll be doing as usual is include 
uh, our library. So obviously to start with, depending on IED, iOS stream, and then we'll also include an unordered set. And then we will also use a vector. So we're gonna include a vector and then using namespace std int main for a function. And then we're gonna have an unordered multi set of integers. And I'm gonna call this a number multi set. And then we're gonna have for functions insert, uh, retrieve, remove, and display insert so we're gonna have number multi set dot insert and since we have integers I'm gonna go 10 20 30 and 10 yep duplicates are allowed then we're gonna retrieve by doing int count equals number multi set dot count instances of 10 and then we're going to output the number of 10 occurrences count and l taking this variable here putting it there then we're going to be removed by doing number double, uh, number multi set dot erase and number will be set dot find instances of 10. So we get rid of all of the tens that are inside of our multi set and count. But this time we're going to do one occurrence of 10 removed from the unordered multi set because unlike last time we're in our maps, we would erase all of a specific um, all of a specific value that we will find if we get rid of that group, we're gonna remove one specific occurrence, but we'll see in the results as well. And L, and then we're gonna be displaying, we do so by vector int numbers, number multiset dot begin, number multiset dot end, and we will be printing out everything. So count numbers in the unordered multi set for int i is equal to zero i numbers dot size dot dot i count numbers i here and count and l and finally return zero so I'm making it on someone to end. That should be an error that we can ignore. It succeeded. And yes, so it does behave accordingly. Plus the conversion loses integer precision. So the so the warning is really because this um, we need to make this an unsigned integer. So I'm going to do, call the size t in this case. So that way there is no constraint. There we go. And should work. There we go. Yep, it does the same thing, and we got rid of the whole warning. So yes, this is our unordered multi-set uh, solution, highlighting the whole functions, and you folks can take a screenshot to be able to go for them in depth and understand more at the same time. Let me just zoom in slightly. There we go. And so, yes, this was the unordered. Hey everyone, sites. thank you very much for taking time to watch this today. If you found this video helpful, be sure and feel free to please like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions as well, feel free to put it in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.